Hello, I'm Scott Evans from Digital Puppet, a cartoon animation studio in the UK that specializes in motion capture, 2D and 3D animated characters. Um, right, what I've got here, as you might have heard, um, Adobe are bringing out a new feature called the Puppet Maker, which is where you can make lots of um, different elements for your puppets, eyes, mouths, costume changes, all those sort of things and then you can use it to make loads and loads and loads of puppets. Um, it's still a bit top secret even though I know Adobe have been announcing it so I'm able to show you what I've been working on but not just yet can I show you how I've been doing it. So first of all this is my base model so as you can see this is like got no color assigned to it or anything and you can see that it is all rigged up and I've made loads of expressions I can change the eyes from male to female which are pretty much the same but they've got eyelashes on them and what I've created is loads of different swap sets so we've got different type of pupils we've got different types of eyebrows got lots of noses and on some of these noses you'll see that I've added a head turn so as the head moves the nose turns with it to give it more of a 2.5D effect so let's have a look at some of these noses pointy ones not all of them have got the effect it depends on the design anything really that's a bit pointy got round ones I think I've got a dangle on that one I won't go through all the noses there are loads of them and you'll see why in a bit Let's uh, settle on this kind of Simpsons y looking one. Um, I've got things like moustaches, beards, glasses. I've even got different head shapes with suit different props. Oh, and with these head shapes, you'll notice I've kind of got a bit of a movement on the jaw there. Um, I've even got chins that can be added to it facial effects like dimples and scars loads and loads of different hairstyles and what else have we got? different clothes um, shoes trousers loads and loads and loads of stuff dresses for the women characters anyway so I got all this stuff and then Using Puppet Maker you can pull that all in and you can mix it up and you can randomize it and it'll give you tons of different variations. Um, so let's have a look at some of the things that you can do. So as I demonstrated um, a few minutes ago, I've created loads of different elements for this character. Um, so now I'm going to press the randomizer button, which you can't see but it is there, and let's see what we have happen. Now you might be thinking this is a crazy bunch of people and you will very much be right. However, the great thing about the program is that whatever character you land on, let's say we look at this one, we go, right, I kind of like the look of that one, but I do want to tweak a few things. First of all, let's give him a pair of trousers instead of a skirt and let's give him some shoes and let's make his nose a different colour and let's make his hair a different colour and let's give him a, a male t-shirt and then you think yep yeah, I like that character very much now what I've done here I've got a mix of female and male characters really what I need to do is have a um, puppet maker for a male set and a puppet maker for a female set and then you know you you're gonna get um, you're not gonna get this mixed match I just had there but like I said it's great you can totally randomize it and then you only need it to get close to a design that you like and then you can very quickly give it a tweak like in this case okay let's give it 
female, she's got female eyelashes and let's um, change the colour of the nose and let's give her some shoes and let's give her a female top and let's give her some sleeves and there you go got ourselves a kind of girl character <laughs> kind of Muppet Simpson style character but as I say the great thing about this is that by throwing in just a few giving a good selection of swaps you've actually you know can create hundreds and hundreds of different random characters that you can use to populate your cartoons and whatever it is you're making um for example um with a few tweaks i can do this i've gone through and i've literally i'm using the same base model so you can see it's similar mouth it's got the same eye set up but i've changed the body parts so that it's all unicorn stuff and so let's try the randomizer now Like I say, you can make some really seriously impressive and varied cartoons. It just all depends on how much time um, you want to put into it. Um, like I say, I love it. I really, you know, there's tons and tons of fun stuff you can do with this. And I can imagine I've got lots of customers um, that will be enjoying the chance to be able to have a puppet maker and so that they can I can build this for them, hand it over and they can make themselves as many characters as I want for their projects. So that's it. Um, I just thought I'd give you a behind the scenes, well, a preview look at how the puppet maker is working and to uh, give it my big thumbs up approval. Um, I can't wait for everyone to be able to use it in the very near future. Bye. <laughs>